Hello and welcome to SAP UI5 demos. In the previous demo, I showed you how to pass a parameter from one view to another view, but we didn't take advantage of the two-way data binding. So in this demo, I'm going to cover data binding and I'm going to show you what's the difference between one-way data binding and two-way data binding. But before we get into all this, there are a few things that you should know if you are new to JavaScript and if you're new to SAP UI5. So there are a few areas where I think you should get confused and there are a few demos or few tutorials where people use var name is equal to something john and in few cases they don't use var they just write name is equal to john and in few places they use this dot name is equal to john so what's the difference between all these three so that's what we are going to cover right now uh, to do that i'm going to create a, a small function let's say get or set username and this function is going to accept a parameter and I am going to place that parameter inside this I'm going to say for username is equal to para now very common function right but the reason why I have used var over here is you won't be able to access this particular variable from outside this function. So the scope of this variable is only within this method. But if I remove var from here, I can access this variable from anywhere. It is in global scope. So this is the way I have initialized my variable and I'm directly passing parameter. Now if I type set username and if I write John Dave and if I try to print my username I can print it now you see I'm trying to access this variable outside this function and this is going to work so I get John Dave here and the next thing is I'm going to prepend var over here now this is going to be in the local scope and this variable can only be accessed within this function so now if I try to hit run it says undefined it didn't get this variable right so that's the difference between when to use var and when not to use var now let's come to this so what does this keyword do uh, in order to explain that I'll create a small object uh, for user is equal to and I'm going to write username this is a key which is blank right now and then I'm going to set username this is a method and it is going to accept a parameter and now if I want to access this particular variable or this particular key I need to use this dot username okay because this particular thing this two braces that you see this is object and you usually work with objects using this keyword so this is nothing but user so you can either write user.username, this is correct, or you can write this.username to access this variable. And then we pass para here. Right Now if I want to uh, set this username, all I have to do is user.setUsername. So this is the object. I'm accessing this method and I'm going to save it, uh, pass a username which is John Day. And now if I have to access this username, I just have to type console.log user.username, right? So this is going to give me John Dave. There it is. And you can replace this with user because this is nothing but user. So you can write user. So it is going to get into the user object and it is going to access this variable and it is going to place parameter over here. So if I refresh this to clear the cache and if I run, it still gives me John Dave, right? So that's the difference between all these three. Uh, now let's get into data binding and see how it works. So I'm going to use the previous application which I had already developed and which I demonstrated in demo three. But before we make changes, let's have a quick recap of what we did. So, so we enter a secret word, it can be anything, A, B, C, D, 
and when I click on submit it gives me ABCD over here now what this is doing exactly the moment I hit submit it is getting the word for me which whatever I have typed inside this input box so it gets me that string and then it sets the data inside the model and then we set the model inside the core so that it becomes globally available and any other views which are listening to this model or which are dependent on this model the model pushes the data from uh, the model to the view so that is called two-way data binding right uh, to give a short note on one-way and two-way data binding uh, there are two things uh, let's start with one way data binding so in one way data binding we have the UI and let's say this is an input box and the UI is not going to push any data to the model automatically right so we have to write our logic somewhere here and then it is going to push the data into our model and the model then automatically pushes this data to our view right so the previous demo we used one-way binding so when we hit submit it is going to set the data and then we are going to set the set the data inside the model and then the model is going to update the other view so the two-way binding does all these things automatically so what is going to do we have the UI we have the input box and it is going to push all the data to the model the moment we start typing inside our input box and the model then is going to push those data into our view so this is one way this is two-way binding right the model can accept the changes automatically and it can push those changes back to the view but in one-way binding the model is not able to accept the changes but it can push those changes to the view so let's go ahead and create a two-way binding so to do that we are just going to cut this part of code and we are going to paste it on our on init method so the on init method gets triggered when the application has rendered and when the ui elements are in place and at that point this gets triggered and this is going to get triggered only once right so what we are going to do here we can remove this dot model because we are not accessing this model from anywhere so we can initialize it with var and we can remove this from here so once we have initialized the model using var we don't have to use var again because that will reset the model it is going to initialize it again so now we have some value with our model and we just pass that value here we don't use var anywhere right and so now we take my secret and we go to page one and we had earlier hard coded a uh, value here we are not going to do that at the moment we are going to write my secret so this is the way we bind this ui element with the model so the moment i start typing it is going to update the model and the model in turn is going to update this particular view uh, the page two view and it's going to update the text view so when to change this from my model and now if we go and preview this so the moment I write anything let's say hello world and I directly go to page 2 I'm not going to hit submit and you see hello world is written here so it is everything is done automatically all right another word magic and the magic is here so what is this is two-way binding so how do we turn this into one-way binding what one-way binding is going to do the moment I type something over here it is not going to update anything over here but if I change the model programmatically it is going to reflect that data over here so let's go ahead and remove var from here we are removing var because we want to make this model global so that we can change the model from outside this application okay and we can remove uh, we can copy this thing from here and we are going to set it uh, and one more thing we have to say that my model is going to accept one way binding so we write that by using set default binding mode and we write here sap.ui.model.binding mode.one way 
right? So we have set our model to accept only one way kind of uh, data passing. Now if I refresh this and I type anything over here and I go to page two, it doesn't show me anything. Now the reason I had removed var from here was to make it accessible, to make it a global object so that I can access it from outside the application, right? So let's copy this part and let's get into our console and so my secret this I'm going to place a value here let's say hello SAP UI 5 and because my model is global right now there is no var over here I can access it from here and then I'm going to set the data so if I go to page 2 I'm going to change the model and you'll see that the model will push those changes inside my view. I hit on run and it says hello SAP UI 5. So I hope you understand the difference between the one way and two way data binding. And if you have any questions or if you have not understood anything, drop me a comment and I'll try to explain it in the next video. Thanks for watching.